Hi, my goodness, Becky. Stop. I'm just delicious. Libra, abracadabra, baby. Time night. We are doing the classic you versus them. We're going to see what is going on between you and your person, my baby, my boo boo. Whatever that means to you. Situationship, relationship, bumble date, marriage. We are also a very generously, scrumptiously in a beautiful restaurant in my uh, neighborhood. The owner is just so nice. And it is called, I just got to tell you guys, it's called Kinnear's uh, Traditional Hotel and Restaurant in Cypress and Paphos. So if you ever come to Papa's, come and visit it. it. Look at how gorgeous it is. We're just in a courtyard. It's so magical, so beautiful. So Libra, uh, let's do it. This is a you versus them. Uh, we assume some kind of a rift or separation between you and your boo-boo and the you versus them of readings. And uh, this is your June 2024 energy. I am so grateful to be here in Cyprus, but though, you know how it is. I travel by myself. I'm all alone. And um, sometimes, you know, bad, th bad things can happen when you travel alone. But also, like, you get so many blessings. People bless you with so much love and scrumptiousness. Um, so maybe that's a message for you to venture out there, do your thing. If you feel like you can't do something by yourself, just know that you can. Because little spirit helpers will come your way. Uh, animal spirits, people will come your way, human angels, all of that. So your person is definitely still into it. All right, somebody's watching you. It's kind of like low-key stalker energy. They're still holding a torch, the King of Wands. This King of Wands, um, this is the Mythos deck by um, Liz Green. The lovers at the bottom of the deck. So, uh, Gemini energy, something could have gone down in Gemini season between the two of you. Uh, definitely somebody still holding the torch, still spying on you, still looking at you. <sighs> I don't know, but though, it's. It, it's not a douche flute, all right? I'm not going to say it's a... I don't see douche flute energy, but uh, we're still in the full... You know, the full moon has not subsided, so I think there's a lot of illusions happening, and I think this person's like... I think they really went through the full moon. I don't think they... If you're not currently talking, I don't think they got in touch with you, but I think they almost did, or like it was like an indirect communication. I think they're watching you, watching you, watching you. They see with someone uh, who is the seven of wands. So you asserted yourself. You told this person what you want and what you need, and they're like, mm -mm, well, if we were, if we're gonna be like that, then I'm not gonna be in touch with you. It, I, it's not douche loop coward energy, but it is the energy of someone who's stopping themselves because they're not feeling sure of themselves. So let's see what happened in the past to make the situation so. They're very unsure of themselves right now. Also, Libra, welcome to Blue Angel Love Tarot. I love you. I see you. I appreciate you. Give your mommy a kiss. You know, I love you so much, Libra, because I'm a Scorpio. I'm your neighbor in the Zodiac, and I just, uh, I just adore you, baby. My grandma was a Libra. She sadly passed uh, this year. I miss her so much. She taught me everything about life, how to be a woman, how to, you know, how to be stylish, how to wear the light, right lipsticks. This is like all the way Libra energy. Uh, also, Libra, if you are interested in a personal reading, all the info is down below. And I have a crazy sale on right now for magic spells. So if you're interested in a magical spell, you can order a spell from me. I offer a free uh, email consultation. Uh, no pressure, no hard sales, nothing like that. So um, take a look at the pricing in the description box below and all the prices listed said are now 50% off um hmm yeah your person's a difficult one it's like I don't know they, they just want to go into battle they wanted to go into battle with you you got the world here something ended something was a long cycle even if it was a new energy like a bimbo himbo anyone in between you met on Twitter on a Tuesday it felt like you had known them your entire life maybe you did maybe you didn't you know what I mean it's like past life karma uh the person came in so sweet, so scrumptious. You never would have expected them to be um, so weird. It's like they retreated their, I feel like this person retreated their energy. They were so friendly and forward with you in the beginning. Could have been a secret admirer, some of you. Um, you didn't meet, for some of you, you met this person on Tinder on a Tuesday, like, you know, cat, stray cat from the streets kind of energy, you know, however we meet people these days in the DMs, right? But for some of you, this person was a, a long time friend and a, a secret admirer. They'd been like watching you for a long time and they made their move and it just seemed so perfect, so scrumptious. And then all of a sudden they retreated their energy. It was like a cycle, a long, it feels like a long, long, like long time coming, long time cycle. If you only just met this person, it is a past life connection. The Four of Wands, you felt it too. That's you, Libra. The Four of Wands, you felt the reunion. It was a soul reunion. You felt it, you knew it. You could have mutual friends, or you could have met someone on the Tinders. 
and all of a sudden you realize that you had so so much in common interests friends you know stuff like that if it was a long-term relationship you have a, a situation here with where this person felt to you like um the same cycle was repeating again and again and again and it, this is about their maturity this is someone who felt to you if you have kids together they felt like another child uh or they felt like they weren't mature enough or they felt uh, felt like they weren't uh friendly with you enough you know what i mean uh the world between you this person could have ended things over and over uh again or threatened to end things or threatened divorce and like well libra well, let's just leave it if you don't like me for who i am but that's not that's not a mature energy. Uh, some of you could have felt like you were dealing with uh, someone who had narcissistic traits. And as you know, Libra, uh, on this channel, we don't overuse that term. I hate like everyone's like always saying my ex is a narcissist, but there were narcissistic traits to this person because they had never before they got into a relationship with, with you. They had never learned how to be, you know. Um, how to love in a mature, high vibrational way, uh, and you taught them how to do that the four of wands. And I feel like you included this person in your life, so as, it could have been a situation where, um, and no judgment, a cross watcher, these energies can't switch. It could have been a situation where you had higher status, you had a good family, good friends, like you had like your life in order, and this person didn't. It's almost like you know this person was the supplicant in the situation, and you felt like you you brought like you. Or even if they weren't, but you like included that person in your life, in your home, in your family. You gave them gifts. Or, you know what I mean? Like you invited them over for um, I don't know, Christmas, Hanukkah, like you know whatever it was, Eid. And this person was like not grateful. They never invited you. Uh, you could have been married to them. And there was something about this person always like separating you from their life, but you always included them in your life. And even if it was. A bimbo himbo anyone between you met on tinder on a tuesday thank you very early on in your generosity with the four of wands included them in your life in your friend circle in your family circle they did not reciprocate and it really hurts you but though and i can see why why did they not reciprocate there's something about them that's really immature the empress yeah they have mommy issues they could have like issues with their own family with their mommy something was standing in the way mother-in-law from hell father-in-law from hell anyone between gender is arbitrary but you know what I'm saying, but though there's something about their family was that was not welcoming towards you. There's something about their lifestyle that was not welcoming towards you. Um, then you got the page of wands and their intentions. So this is someone who wants to talk and they want they want to have some action. King of Wands, you could be dealing with a fire sign, by the way. It could, it could be a Sagittarius, uh, could be a Leo, could be an Aries, but it's someone who's trying to take action right now. But they're um, they're kind of out of their depth. Uh, then you got strength what to expect from them so there's going to be a power struggle this entire summer it's summer of love summer uh summer of struggle if you're not currently speaking you won't hear from them until leo season interesting cancer got the same energy check out the cancer read if you are dealing with a cancer and the eight of cups so crowning energy is <sighs> this person's a bit of a failure i'm gonna be honest with you libra i don't know what do you want to do with this person you're gonna to have to do the work if if and when they reach out in leo season because this person's like watching you know they're watching you stalking you looking at your stories all of that stuff yeah and they're thinking about you they're not going to do the right thing unless you do the right thing it's almost like they need you to be the bigger person is that what you want in your life is that the energy you want to attract into your lifestyle what is four of swords it's a deep soul connection, but it doesn't mean you owe this person anything. They owe you something too. What is it they didn't do for you? What is it they didn't heal in you? This person hasn't done, I feel like this person hasn't done the work in this rift or separation. They're still not doing the work. They got mommy issues or parent issues or issues with like sharing their life with you. Uh, and then you got the emperor. So uh, your advice is, do you want a page? Because this, this person is a page right now, page of cup. Do you want a page or do you want an emperor? And uh, can you, it, it's almost like if you want to remain with this person, I feel like, yes, that can happen. And it is a soul connection, but you're always going to have to be their parent. You're going to be competing with their parents um, in some kind of a way. But do you, do you perhaps uh, not think that you deserve someone to build? I'm not saying delete from database, but delete from database. Um, your person's not a bad person, but they're a weak person. They're uh, all about themselves. Do you not need someone who will protect you and take care of you? There is an emperor waiting for you. 
uh, I feel like uh, by this time next year, you could be in a totally different relationship. Um, eagles might be important to you as well. Or if you live in the mountains where there's mountains with eagles, uh, that is your synchronicity. And eagles are coming up as your spirit animals today to, mm, to show you that you can go as high as you want, score as high as you want. You know, find that high vibrational soulmate. You do not have to settle for less. I know this is um, a deep connection. I feel it. But there's something about the person that's like obsessed with you, but at the same time, they're just not. Uh, and, you know, this can change. Free will and all this. It's a general reading. Take it with a grain of salt. But as always, I'm just a random bimbo on the internet. But this person's not stepping up. This is what I'm saying. Uh, maybe they need a, a couple more months to step up. How long are you going to wait for that douche flute to step up, boo boo? That's all I'm saying, but you deserve the best of the best, the cream of the cream. You deserve to Aphrodite, Venus herself. Libra is all about, that is your planet, Venus, Aphrodite, the goddess of love. All right, boo-boo. Mm. Thank you for watching, Libra. I love you so much. I'm just going to have my salad. Uh, I got to show you my salad. Look how gorgeous it is. Uh, they've been so generous here. They uh, made me such a beautiful meal. I am so grateful. And also remember, I just, uh, I told Cancer this. I'm, I think I'm going to say it every video. Feed yourself. Be abundant with yourself. Take care of yourself. F the douche flutes. You know what I mean? And if you're struggling with any kind of like, you know, eating stuff, we all do, don't we? Especially us uh, elder, <laughs> elder millennials like your mommy, boomers. I was raised on diet culture and I'm, all I'm doing these days is feeding myself and being abundant with myself and the goddess keeps giving me uh, so much more abundance. Whenever I feed myself, whenever I'm good to myself, she gives me so much more. So feed yourself tonight, baby, and F the douche flute. Douche flute tossing around in between. Alright, baby, stay sparkly, stay gorgeous, stay moisturized, and may the angels protect you.